Flank drive plus full rate. Oh, so they have the flank drive plus. Oh, snazzy. What up, guys? Sleepy the Tool Addict. Woo! What better way to follow up a Harbor Freight um, truth video than with a snap-on video? The best part about it is, is the beta Harbor Freight fanboys literally don't even understand that I'm not a huge snap-on guy. I mean, the fact of the matter is I don't even own a snap-on toolbox. Those guys, well, I do. I guess a little micro one. But those guys don't even know. That's how well they know me. But anyways, let's jump into this. The Solus Plus. This is the June flyer. Uh, some flyers might vary for your areas. We have some testimonials. Built for text, entry level. Sure track makes it easy, so we're looking at them things. Uh, you know, uh, the Triton's probably the minimum I would ever do. Uh, all the Snap-on scan tools, unless you get to Zeus or Bluetooth. Which, once again, I have reservations about using bluetooth uh scan tools if you guys haven't heard me talk about although they are convenient they tend to have issues being lagging and uh so i do appreciate i have used the triton before a d8 and uh, i do like it i've used a zeus plus i do like it um but the expense on this with the updates and everything it's not very friendly to a technician uh, I, I feel like Snap-On's really taking advantage. Uh, if a sh in a shop environment, a shop can afford to, to probably justify having a scan tool. But for a technician, honestly, I just don't think... If you're a technician, I think you're kind of... It depends on how much money you're making. It's really subjective, but Snap-On scan tools are so hard for me to find justification. Even as someone who's working for themselves uh i just it's it's expensive yearly when i can there's so many other options out there for scan tools now that's my biggest problem they are on the cusp of being uh n negligent in in the automotive industry for diagnostics in my my opinion they're they are just a, a tick away in my opinion from not being relevant in diagnostic games i like the platforms there's definitely some good things features about it the diagnostics uh for like they talked about on this one right here uh for the sure track system and whatnot like that uh i like the uh i like the fact that it uploads data and information directly to the snap-on cloud uh what do they call that is that sure track I forget what the name of that is because I don't have one, but uh, the the information that it uploads. But I won't I won't bore you guys with any of that stuff. Let's jump right into the new products. <laughs> the new products: quarter inch tech angle flex head micro torque wrench, twelve to thirty three hundred inch pounds, ideal torque wrench, um, for five ninety nine, all steel construction. Definitely a very nice A tech wrench, but I have a problem for a quarter inch torque wrench spending five ninety nine. I'm definitely having a hard time biting that bullet. But oil drain pan bolts, uh, brake caliper bolts, valve rock arms, as they point out here on all of these models, have to be torqued to these inch pounds. And the one thing about it is, Snap-on's pretty much the only one that's got a 300 inch pound torque wrench, quarter inch torque wrench in digital that does this. So uh, it's definitely, I'm pretty sure there's not any other torque wrench out there. I think most of them go up to 25 foot pounds, which doesn't translate into 300. I could be wrong on that. I didn't do any math on that, so don't. So somebody tell me in the comment box. Uh, I'll let you guys. I'll let you guys help me out on this one. Uh, I didn't look into this. But I know that most torque, quarter inch torque wrenches go up to about 25 foot pounds. There's a rarity where some will go up to 30, 35. And then inch, I don't know what the translation is into inch pounds. But uh, I think this, that's where the snap on is, why they're point, pointing this out here. Thermostat housing boats. What is a Stellantis Hemi? Oh, BH trucks. Well, anyways, uh, three inch long extended 14 4 micro lithium. Long neck grinder, four hundred fifty-six not dollars. Is this the tool itself? 
long neck die grinder one battery four hundred fifty six dollars hmm it's a new product is this better that looks like a pretty slim design push button spindle lock two speed gearbox so this is definitely a new new tool and i haven't heard anybody talk about it we also have restore the shine every time for 35 dollars of stainless steel wipes i made a comment out this this is the formula 1920 made a comment if you guys know or have any of these versus the um tub of towel stainless steel wipes let me know i'd like to see a, consp a comparison or or something what you think uh because i definitely would like to get this i have i have a reason i want to get some stainless steel wipes and uh it's not for toolbox related instances necessarily so moving right along we have the instinct ivy 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 ivy, ivy. <laughs> handle your screwdriver in every shop nickel chrome finish vapor blasted tips hex bolsters strong alloy steel strong alloy steel rounded neck flat sides grease resistant tip identification snap on certainly hits the marks for all of these uh points on a screwdriver uh, as far as being, they're one of the top screwdrivers. I personally am still a vessel uh, connoisseur now. I've kind of switched. I used to be a snap-on. Uh, I kind of went between them and Mac, uh, you know, just comfort and whatnot. But I'm kind of vessel. And the reason why I like vessel more is because it has a knurled handle. The Mega Doors have a knurled shaft right there. Uh, I think snap-on would be wise to add a knurled shaft right there because a lot of times I find myself grabbing the shaft and spinning it with my fingertips. You guys know what I'm talking about. All you guys out there know you like to grab your shaft and spin it with the tip. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, cabinet screwdrivers. Let's see what we got for prices on these because these will probably make your, your butthole pucker. 90, uh, 57 and 50 for A, and then B we have 172 why is my stuff fuzzy? And then C, we have 207 90 and what is it? C. Extra longs, 207 90. That's not a bad deal. I'd actually man, I already have the 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 Cornwell ones. I don't need these, but uh 207 seems like a pretty decent deal off. I can probably get those down a little bit more, a little cash deal under 100 under 200 bucks for the long screwdrivers in your choice red, green and orange. Damn. I've always wanted to set a long snap-on screwdrivers to go match with my other ones, but not today. Seven-piece combination blue blue points, eh, eh. And then we have the seven-piece Phillips flat-tip electronic screwdrivers for eighty-four dollars. I believe those are Slovakian or German-made. Anyways, let's move right on here. Get deep into tight spaces. Get deep, fellas. Just get real deep in there get real deep in there folks uh we have the seven piece 3h drive six point sae flank drive deep universals i'll be honest with you i don't i i i don't need these snap-on sockets uh i really uh can go without them but the prices on these are uh 390 bucks uh for the six seven piece and then looks like we're under maybe 400 uh just just shy of 400 on the uh six piece set uh why is the seven piece set cheaper help me on oh because standard metric excuse me but we also have skip sizes that's one thing i don't like about these you're looking at uh so then over here we have just under just about 240 for the uh impact deep swivels and then the seven piece 3h drive 10 11 12 Oh, wait, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, and 18 for $377 on the 7P cent. I mean, they're trying to keep the price down, but you can buy the entire set of Cornwells, and my that's what I bought, and I'm pretty sure I paid around 400 bucks, and they were 8 to 24, 8 to 22, and then a 24. Uh, and they're really good sockets, in my opinion. I've had really good luck with them. Now, I know a lot of you guys probably don't have Cornwall guys, but it is what it is. I don't like the fact that Snap-on does that, and I know they do that to keep the price down. Uh, but I would rather buy a complete set. Uh, I'm sure if you actually priced in the 11, uh, 8, you got to buy the 8. They're about 50 bucks a socket. So you start factoring in, you buy an 8, 10, 12. You're going to need 9 sometimes, maybe, too. Uh, 8, 9... 11 <laughs> uh 16 
19 and 21 i mean you're looking at the same amount of money so you're definitely looking at close to 700 dollars for a complete set of the snap-ons i don't know not not a huge fan of them uh you guys let me know if you like the snap-on swivels personally i like the cornwells those are my favorite they have a bluing finish on them so they're nice air tools the sioux air tool company which is owned by snap-on they're doing uh these are some pretty stout die grinders half horsepower we got the heavy duty air saw the cutoff tool 328 444 uh 413 every one of these is right around 400 dollars 330 249 is your cheapest the third horse mini straight that's ridiculous that's ridiculous but you can get trade in so you can get a hundred dollars off so uh yeah some of them you might be able to get down to like 300 so nice nice air tools usa made uh will not say anything bad about them they've came a long ways but you know it is what it is all right size for every challenge we got the um, snap the wrenches here 32 millimeter 36 millimeters so double ended wrenches here and the prices on these and then the angled wrenches so if you're looking to buy some snap on angle wrenches which are pretty slick uh 315 for the metric set 10 to 15 millimeter uh and then a 17 in the storage tray the 10 piece metric 15 15 and 60 degree so those are the 30 to 60 and then the 15 to 60 degree 254 for the 10 piece set that's that's not terrible you're looking at you can buy the both of those for just about five hundred dollars uh having a decent set double-ended wrenches those do come in handy i know a lot of industrial guys diesel guys uh equipment guys a wait a second here wait this oh their a is up here and then we got b and then we got c seven piece 30 60s on the 10 to 15 286 so three sets of angle wrenches here a seven piece set 10 to 15 and a 17 30 60 30 60 what is going on here four-way angle wrench flank drive plus four -way. oh so they have the flank drive plus oh schnazzy oh you little tricky doubles there you got me open in ignition wrenches are the little fellers over here which are uh 3.25 to 11 millimeter that's the little fellers up here and those definitely come in handy believe well they used to i I don't know how much you use them anymore. I know back in the day on some of the older stuff did. And then we have the open end wrenches here. Low torque, slimline open end wrench set. So your thin wrenches on sale. Uh for five sixty. You can get the thin wrenches all the way up six to thirty six. That's kind of uh that's kind of badass. Not gonna lie to you. Five sixty. Uh man, I honestly this is a good time to buy slim wrenches not gonna lie to you i didn't realize size for every challenge with flexibility to spare they didn't really say that here in the deal here size for challenge i like that these are the slimline wrenches low torque slimline open end wrench set 560 bucks that's a deal guys you're getting a hundred dollars off on those right now wow crazy uh good time to buy thin wrenches if you want the usa made snap on ones not the cheapest, but definitely time. And then we have the Baco. Baco. Baco, Baco, Baco. Made in Spain stuff. Now, Snap-on does own Baco. So, uh, you know, the PWZs and the adjustable pliers. Now, I will be honest with you. These things have been on back order for a while. I don't know what this deal is, but 346, uh, 348 for the four-piece set is a Samokin deal. Uh, you're getting almost a... Uh, well, I guess you're only getting like 25 bucks off maybe not a smoking deal but if you can get a get your dealer to boss bust them off a little more blue point uh ones are 131 not sure if those are made in spain or not they look very similar just probably don't have the flank dry on them those might be blue those blue point ones might be similar to the ones you can buy on amazon you know you can buy the bacos but the difference is and everybody always tries to say it's the flank drive plus adjustable wrench set has the teeth on it they are pretty aggressive i i personally have a set of cornwells that i should buy some of these snap-ons i kind of want to see if the i love my cornwell ones uh and they were a hell of a lot cheaper they're obviously not spain made or whatnot but i kind of like this the nickel finish on the snap-on ones i do appreciate better than i do the bacos 
which 131 is pretty comparable to the price of the box which you can buy off Amazon. So not too snazzy or not too bad. Uh, the PWZ pliers, we have 273, 155, and 86, it's 25, and then the uh, 77, 75. And of course, the Blue Point non padded ones, 115, which I wouldn't get. Moving right along here, a couple tools in here that I like. Uh, we have the light, lumen, uh, articulated light, 12280, uh, butane soldering torch. I like that. I have that. 214 is kind of, I didn't pay that. I'm glad I didn't buy mine for that, but. I do. I I have had good luck with mine so far, so I don't know. This is my favorite power probe, EECT nine hundred. They are really expensive. I paid two fifty for mine. So, uh, but the one reason I like it is uh, you can buy this extension cord, and you can also buy a replacement cord instead of having to play pay for the entire light or in play, entire replacement. Uh, and you can get it sent in. I think a flat rate on mine was like eighty bucks to get it repaired. Uh, I had I had messed mine up, unfortunately. Actually, I didn't mess mine up. Somebody else messed it up, but it's either neither here nor there. Code Reader, 530, forget about that thing. It's rebranded anyways. Looks like an Innova. Uh, Air Solvent Gun, 203. Uh, I don't know much about that. If that's worth something, you let me know. The Air Blaster, Clamshell Lead. These, are, these have been in shops for years that I've seen. I don't know why the Snap-on one. Uh, dust collection system, side hatch for inserting smaller items, insulated window for quiet operation. I don't know what makes these better, but uh, I have seen them. A lot of the shops around here have them too. So for some reason they sell them. So. And then finally, big, the bold, and beautiful. The colors to sure make them green. Snap-on toolboxes. Green with envy. You guys know the strat on that. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. I don't care where you buy your toolbox from really don't but anyways guys like comment share subscribe ring that bell remember keep your hands dirty and your money clean thanks for watching